Call me a dweeb if you want. I don't really care. I enjoy playing the extra mini games that are implemented on top of everything else. It's like Tekken 7 Bowling or Modern Warfare 3 Infected. Some of the most fun moments are playing these little side games. So when I lost an arm wrestling match to a lad with some fur on his lip, I must admit things had gotten a little out of hand. Adrenaline was running high, John Marston hates losing, it kind of reminded him of what happened about four years earlier when he lost that poker game. For all of the people who have ever thought about it, playing poker or challenging him in an arm wrestling match is gonna go one of two ways. Either you're going to lose the game, or you're going to lose your life. I'd much rather lose one of my kidneys before losing the last of my remaining three brain cells. It did not help matters when attempting to switch his gun, the horse just keeled over. I'm not sure if that's because of this being a 13 year old game or just something to do with the Xenia emulator I was using. Because let's be honest here, trying to actively play this game without an Xbox around is a bit difficult to do. Not on Game Pass, not on PC, not even on anything above 7th generation of consoles. Rockstar desperately needs to get their sh** together and release it elsewhere. Since the Pacific Union Railroad camp was a bit out of the way, I ran up to Blackwater to calm the nerves a bit with a nice game of Blackjack. Jack, RNG Incarnate. I never claim to be that great at this game, let's get one thing clear, but I know my way enough around a deck of cards to know roughly when things are good and when things fly straight down to hell. I won a couple of hands, lost some more, usual blackjack. It's only when I finally managed to double down, get myself a 21 in the process, that this f dealer here pulls out a 21 himself, thereby robbing the rest of the table, me barely getting my money back after the few hundred I've lost, and everyone was left disappointed. At this point, I was seeing red. I had lost my dignity as a man with my meager strength, my money was slowly burning right before my eyes, never mind all the other issues I had faced about a decade earlier. I couldn't be happy, so why does anyone else get the right? You want to talk about the Blackwater Massacre of 1899 and 1907? How about instead we discuss the Blackwater Massacre of 1911? The amount of cops that were here reminded me of my time in St. Denis. To this day, I still have a bounty on my head larger than the population count of that godforsaken city. In the end, the cops drove me out of town hot on my trails. I suppose I should mention that I did turn on invincibility cheat for this town, but when you also consider the fact that more than once, I watched them appear out of thin air right in front of me akin to teleportation or just black magic f the extra bonus in my opinion is valid. The open roads had a lot more people roaming around compared to Red Dead 2 though. It made for a higher kill count than I initially anticipated. Every 10 seconds or so I was running into someone new, at least it felt like it. Thieves Landing, you want to talk about an entertaining 7 minutes or so, this place was it. The local militia alongside the leftover cops from Blackwater were the first line of defense, and they were not nearly as savage as the previous town. What you didn't see back then was the half hour I spent getting mercilessly boned and that footage no longer exists. Not because they were overwhelming, but simply for the fact that teleporting humans with guns is too much to handle. I am the video game protagonist after all, but every blue moon or so, there's a situation that proves a bit too much for me. It's why I haven't played Elden Ring yet. Running back and forth perfecting the art of murder got quite tiresome after a bit. I always seemed to miss one or two people that were hiding and then for no reason just scream at the top of their lungs as they're running away. Have they learned nothing from cheesy horror movies? McFarlane's ranch wasn't terribly far away, and despite Christmas having come and gone at this point, unless you're watching this in December, in which case that's meta as f I was in the giving spirit. See, I possess too much ammunition for all of my guns. Ammo gets pretty heavy. I don't have a sleigh and nine reindeer to carry all that weight around. And seeing as though that they've treated John Marston very well up to that point, I felt it was time to pay back all the debt I owed. These bullets had to be sent out quick though. I didn't want to keep them waiting too long, so I sent them via airmail. Amazon don't got sh** on the Marston Air Delivery Service. My services were so good that civilians were using the cops teleport system just to get closer to me. How generous are the people of these lands? I was ready to expand Marston's air delivery service to the next town over, in Armadillo. I created a new concoction that was sure to be absolutely 
fire and raise my stonks value through the roof. I decided to let some people get hands on with it and I must say it was quite a success. I had every intention of selling it in the shop, but the keeper for some reason said no, closed his doors for a lot of days, and took a vacation. And when people tell me no, bad things start happening. It's just the way the universe works. I didn't make the rules. But when people disagree with the only person who isn't an NPC, then they all get sent to the great big post office in the sky. There must be some secret underground housing situation though. It felt like a new person was walking out of each building every single time I pass by. I understand my services are absolutely kick ass, but my god, I can only do so much. I took a trip up to Rathskeller Fork because a lad there owed me some money and he was way too late on the agreed pay date, so I am forced to kill him. I never actually saw his face, nor ever got a name out of him now that I think about it, so I just knock knocked on every door until everybody there was dead. I'm slightly convinced it was this guy here. He manufactured a whole entire body at the snap of a finger just because he died. I have to go through a whole ass loading screen reading useless information I already know just to do that. Anyway, the land is cleared out, so if any of y'all want the deed to the property, I'm sure it's on one of the corpses. I didn't go looting much. Remember, I'm trying to rid myself of the ammo, not get more. While passing through the supposed abandoned town of Tumbleweed, I got shot at by a couple of low-life criminals taking refuge in the only place they could afford. I guess it was a pseudo-side mission to free the sheriff, and I am always one to do good deeds, because I am a good person who takes his vitamins, drinks his water, and gives away his extra ammunition for the killer price of zero dollars. Everybody just has to receive it in their faces. I don't have another way of spreading the wealth around. Real talk though, these guys were chumps. They all challenged me to a 1v1 and every single one of them lost. It was like nothing I had ever seen. Anyway, I still had some fire bottles left over and I needed a demonstration for how they worked. It was ruined by a piss poor camera cut, but I guess I got what I needed, so all's well that ends well. Apparently I've been a naughty boy recently and the US government sent down some of their guys in suits, probably the pink men, to reprimand me and send me to my room. It's not very becoming to put the lives of innocent civilians in danger like that. I mean, bad things could happen. Didn't someone ever teach them not to aim guns at people? They could go off, slip of the finger, and then BAM! They're bleeding out from a compromised artery. I'm back at Fort Mercer 2 Electric Boogaloo. Actually, now that I think about it, this is the third time I'm clearing out this base. Hindsight is 2020. I should have burned this place to the ground long ago before Bill Williamson ever even thought about taking this place over. Speaking of Bill Williamson, what a segue that was. Why is it that we spent roughly 25 missions in the main campaign setting up a raid on this place to kill him, only for a nice lad to help us over the wall inside? In the span of, I kid you not, five minutes, minutes, the place had less corpses walking around than most frisky scenes on the internet. But even I can admit when I've taken things too far, and I have not taken things quite far enough quite yet. America was a desolate wasteland at this point, and nowhere offered any sort of fun or variety on this side of the river anymore, so it was on down to Mexico. My Spanish isn't quite up to speed, so forgive me if I butcher any sort of pronunciations or I say some of these words a bit too American. Casa Madrugada was a giant shell of disappointment. They took too much of my money for renting out this room, and the amount of people to welcome me here just made me sad. This was it. These two, and the man twiddling his thumbs. On the way to El Presidio, I may have acquired some extra baggage along the way for a short time. Video game physics are quite funny when they want to be. Last time I was here, I left Javier Escuela rotting in a cell for some reason. This time, I'm taking no prisoners, although there was very little amount of prisoners to take. I couldn't even turn the cannon onto the base to get some sick kills. So far, Mexico is proving to be quite underwhelming. After a certain point, I was left questioning who learned the teleportation tactic first. Things happened and there was this one stretch of road that I always seemed to accidentally leave a person alive, only for them to magically find some lawmen to cash in on that bounty that isn't quite nearly high enough for the kill count that I have. Torquemada was sitting on top of a cliff and the navigation system made me want to jump off said cliff for how unintuitive it can be at times. Here's your location. It's 20 feet in front of you, but 5,000 feet in the air. 
Good luck! I'm completely blowing smoke here, but man, I wish the rumored Red Dead Redemption remake was true. Anyway, Torquemada. It was here I learned I should never play these mini games again. Five Finger Filet got me this time, and the first action I took after I lost was shooting a TNT barrel because I like blowing shit up. It's a fact of life. I learned a long time ago that when barrels or containers are red, you shoot them because then the fun events transpire. Las Hermanas, God bless the souls in this place. If you want to talk about a location where they actually made me feel guilty for indulging in a game of Shoot the Cool Gun 7, it's this place. Granted, it didn't make me feel nearly guilty enough for me not to go through with it as I have an honor system with these videos, but they certainly got closer than everywhere else. And then the cops showed up and once again proved they have the situational awareness of a noseblind mutt. Actually, I take that back. That would be offensive to noseblind mutts. Throughout the 13 year existence of this title, I have never conducted a train robbery in this rendition. Red Dead 2 had an awesome system where you can rob hundreds of individuals of their belongings and then take the train itself for a joyride, so surely something on a relatively smaller scale would be here, right? and I would be met with a big fat no. There was a total of two passengers aboard, along with the conductor making the population count four, but minus three, which equals only me. I couldn't even take it for the joyride I wanted. Rockstar desperately needs to remake this game. I want to take trains for a joyride, damn it. Chuparosa, what a quaint little town this was. Perfect for nightly walks, games of poker, and explosions because I like blowing shit up. The amount of cops in this town were sky high, though. I walked around this place beforehand numerous times, and I am convinced NPCs in this game got their own damn mod menu to do virtually whatever they please short of invincibility. Either that or the townsfolk here quickly change into their uniforms to apprehend me, but I personally think it's the former. They trapped me at this fountain for quite a while. It's a rather open town, and if they had played any sort of video game in their lives, it would have been as easy as flanking both sides at the same time. Someone's gonna die regardless before I do, but at least they'd win. Or maybe not. Who knows? These are the same people who have the bright idea of putting their toilet paper mullet style instead of the beard way. They just simply don't think logically. They probably enjoy coleslaw too. I don't trust them and this is why they always lose. One thing I'm happy about is that the bounty limit doesn't cap out at 1500 bucks like its second iteration prequel does. Seeing the limitless death I leave in my wake deserves its proper respect on the bounty. Escalera, the first notable thing that happened here was my dumbass thinking I had a throwing knife in my hand, only to throw a lit fuse of dynamite at somebody within smelling distance. I lived because I'm playing as the video game protagonist, and I get special privileges that no NPC anywhere does. This also includes taking virtually unlimited damage so long as a certain amount of seconds pass, and the wounds magically close up like they never happened. Provided this doesn't happen in a cutscene because cutscenes don't make a lick of damn sense. When compared to what actually happens in the gameplay aspect. If it did, Arthur Morgan would have just kept all his cheat codes on and would still be alive to this day. It was so simple to do too, up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, BA, start. <sighs> Reality is no fun. Anyway, kill count was slightly higher than initially anticipated. You love to see it. If you enjoyed this video, consider leaving it a like, or if you hated it, leave it a dislike. And if you haven't already, and you like what you see on the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and turn on those notifications. Helps me out a ton. Shout out to all my Patreon supporters for making videos like this one possible. Have a good one. Peace out.